Hey, it's Suffering Student here, and today we're going to continue with the Android Studio tutorial series. So, in the last video, I discussed the basic setup of my application. So, if you want to know how it's all set up and the basics, go watch that first. Link over here. Otherwise, in this video, we're going to discuss the text view. So, firstly, I'll just run the program to showcase the basic program, which is an application, which is just white, and we have a text view in the middle saying Hello World. So, if we want to change the setup of our layout, we need to go into our Retos folder and look at our activity main XML file. Up here in the right, we have two options. We can either just look at the code or we can split it. And now we look at the code and the design tool. So, this is the text view. I think it's very important to have at least a decent understanding of the code behind, but you can't mostly just find this stuff just using a drag and drop section in the split but let's have a look at what's actually inside the code so we have our text view which is an xml component the beginning of our component and the end of our component we then have some tags that define some information about this text view for example it's wrapping on both the width and the height in this case this is a text view we have some text we then have a layout control, which tells us where it is. And then we have an IDE, so we can use it inside our Java code. So if we have a look at our design here, we can actually see when we click it, we have these arrows, which is the constraint part, which tell us we want to be as close to the top as possible, close to the right, as close to the left, and as close to the bottom which in this case would put the text in the middle. What this means is that if on any screen size, it would be placed in the middle, no matter what size the screen is. We're then also able to move it around here. Let's say we want it at the top, but we still want it to be centered in the middle. So when we do this, we can actually see inside the code. What we have changed is now that we're still fitting it to the top, top the right, left, top button, and so on. But now we are adding a bias, which is uh, telling us, in this case, vertical bias, which means we want to be moved to the top. So if I just make it a bit bigger, we can see both at once. So if I change this, for example, to a uh, 0 0.1, further down, so the closer we get to zero, so if we just had a zero bias, it would be placed at the top. And the point now is that we're always placing it at the top exactly on any screen, which is kind of the whole purpose of trying to make this as responsive as possible. But let's just make it 0 0.5, 0 0.05. Now let's actually try adding some more text. I would just drag and drop another text field. And as you see, it's up here. But one problem when we are just drag and dropping it, we're actually having an exact position with the absolute Y and absolute X position, which is definitely not optimal. We're just telling it where it needs to be. So we would prefer to use this template again, where we have it constrained to be at a specific point on all sizes. Just delete this and add that. And then again, if I wanted to move it, Then again, if we wanted to move some fair specifically, I would drag and drop or use a vertical bias or a horizontal bias. But let's just keep it there for now. And another part that's kind of important is when we want to like interact with our components inside our Java code, we have our main activity at Java. And then first just create a text view object. Then to actually add this text view object or connect it with the one in the XML, I need to create a text view. I need to cast it to a text view and then I find view by ID and then use R, which is a object, a static object created that contains all the IDs, which allow us to create some IDs inside our XML and then access them again. And in this case, get find view by ID. 
uh, dot get a specific ID, and then we can see all the IDs. And in this case, it's text view, which is the ID of our first text view. And now I'm able to do whatever I want with this text view. For example, let's just first run the program. And when you run the program, first it's the old version, then it actually deletes the, the application and reinstalls the application and then run it again. We have hello world and we have our text view. Let's say I actually wanted this hello world to be something else, but I don't want to change it inside my XML. For example, let's say we added a button at some point and when you click the button, you change the text to something else. I'll then simply do text view dot set text and then go not hello world, for example. So now when you run the program again, we start our virtual machine. It's the old application. It removes it, it reinstalls, and now we can see it writes not hello world. So if you enjoyed this short demonstration of the text view and the basics of it, where we use these constraints to define and make it more responsive and then use a bias to move it around the screen, then please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.